So envy, it is a feeling of discontented, discontented or resentful longing aroused by someone else's possessions, qualities, or luck. Um, desire to have a quality possession or other desirable attribute belonging to someone else. So everyone has felt envious at some point in their life. You know, maybe everyone in your class brought their Nintendo DS on Nintendo DS day or whatever the heck that was. And you were the only one who couldn't afford one. And so you spent all recess and lunch watching everybody play games or chat in the chat rooms on their DS and you didn't really get to have any fun. Or maybe the super popular girl in school was popular because she was super crazy kind and really outgoing and everybody was her friend and you only had one friend, you know? Maybe maybe that's when you were envious. These are completely uh, random made up scenarios, obviously. Uh, they have no meaning to me. But <laughs> these would be examples of being envious over other people's possessions and qualities. Feeling envious is normal. Um, I don't think you should feel guilty for becoming envious of somebody's, you know, qualities or possessions or whatever. Um, it's kind of natural. You're always going to want something you don't have. That's just how it is, in my opinion. I could be wrong. <laughs> Who knows? But I don't think you should feel guilty for that. I think you should just watch out on how you react to it and the actions that envy causes you to take, makes you take. I don't know what I was talking about. But if your envy um, pushes you to do some bad things or say some bad things, that's what you should feel guilty of. That's what you shouldn't want. Obviously, I'm going to be talking about art envy in this video because this is an art channel or something like that. So um, art envy is something that I uh, would imagine every artist has felt at some point in their life. Maybe some of you guys are feeling it right now. Um, maybe you guys have felt it and have gotten over it. And that's kind of what I want to talk about in this video. Um, so I'm going to tell you when I went through some really, really bad art envy. <laughs> so when I was first starting getting, when I first started getting into art, like seriously, you know, when I was on DeviantArt, I suffered from art envy pretty badly. I had a lot of artists that I looked up to. I loved their art, but at the same time, I hated them for having a beautiful art style and for having popularity and success. Um, I couldn't understand. <laughs> I could, but I couldn't at the same time. It's a very confusing feeling when you f you love somebody so much and you love their art and you look up to them. You want to be just like them, but at the same time you hate them and you don't understand why they have their success. But at the same time you do it's very like conflicting feelings at least it was for me there were so many artists that i looked up to that i hated because of their popularity and eventually all of these negative feelings towards drawing and towards other artists made drawing not that fun for me i felt like no matter how much i drew and no matter how much imp i improved i could never get to their level i feel and <laughs> and i feel like social media makes our envy so like easily <laughs> i don't know if easily to uh i don't know how to phrase this but social media makes it really easy for you to find other artists obviously and <laughs> you're gonna come across a lot of really 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 talented a lot of really skilled artists out there and <laughs> you will probably feel some envy eventually. Anyways, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I got so sick and tired of those negative feelings. I was able to grow from it and I was able to get over my art envy. And now drawing is like way more enjoyable than, <laughs> than it was back then. I'm going to assume some of you guys are going through it or have felt it. So I'm going to tell you how I got over it. I feel like this is some kind of like I don't know, this feels like some weird life coaching thing, but I don't know. So yeah, let me tell you how I got through it. Okay, so the first step to um, getting over art envy is to recognize that you are feeling artist envy. Uh, this seems to, I mean, it sounds super obvious, uh, which it is, but a lot of people are in denial of it. I was in denial of it big time why would i be you know envious of that person they 
they're not even that good or you know nobody wants to come off as that crazy envious bitter artist you know <laughs> nobody wants to come off that as like a negative person but once you recognize that you have a problem you can start working on finding the solution so instead of thinking there's nothing wrong just just think about it for a little bit be like hey am i you know <laughs> Do I hate other people because they're more popular? Um, do I question why they're so successful? Do I, am I constantly comparing myself to them? Those kind of things. Think about when you first started drawing. Did you start with stick figures or really weird wonky shapes? No matter how old you were when you first started, your first art <laughs> probably sucked. A little <laughs> no offense uh, so did mine my first artwork art pieces were not good I've shown you some of them <laughs> they're not that great um, but spoiler alert every single artist that you look up to and every single artist that you're envious of have started exactly where you started some people do have um, not sure if if advantage is the right word, but some people do have some kind of thing where they can improve in their art faster or they're just uh, naturally creative and it gives them an advantage. But no matter what, they started just like you did. Not good. <laughs> and look where they are now. And look where you are now. You've improved. Even if you just started last week, you've improved. And the people you look up to have probably approved i mean improved that's why you look up to them so guess what that means you could very easily get there in time and in practice you can get there use this information <laughs> as motivation use your envy as motivation um you don't want to improve your art to be better than them but you want to improve because you know you can improve to make yourself feel better uh to give yourself more confidence for whatever reason, you know, you want to improve because you want to make art your job, do it. <laughs> That's awesome. You want to improve just because drawing is fun? Yeah, go ahead. That's great. Improve for positive reasons. Don't try to make art a competition. Art does not have to be a competition. I feel like that's the biggest reason for artist envy. That, especially with social media where... You know, whoever has the most retweets or reblogs or likes or comments, um, those are the really successful popular people. You want all those likes and retweets and you want all that attention, which you should. There's no shame in wanting attention for your art. Like, no shame. A lot of people try to make artists feel bad for wanting attention for their work. But guess what? I worked on this picture for five hours. I, I'm going to want some attention. That's just how it is. Um, not everybody wants it. Uh, not everybody like focuses on that. But yeah, no shame in wanting attention. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> I feel like social media did make it a lot. Uh, make art a competition or uh, I feel like social media made it easier for artists to assume that art is a competition when it doesn't have to be. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of smart comments being like, well, what if you're in an art contest and everybody's a competition? Yeah, like, yeah, because you're in an art contest, that makes sense. But if you're just drawing and posting it online for fun or whatever, um, you don't have to look at other artists as competitors because they're not, they really don't have to be. Uh, you should see them as your allies, <laughs> uh, co-workers, I don't know, man. They go through the same things that you do, you know? You know how there's so many artist problems videos out there? Yeah, they have the same artist problems that you do. You guys have, you guys have more in common than you think you do. I've seen a lot of posts on like Twitter and stuff where some artists don't want to give out what brushes they use or whatever because if i give you my brush information your art is gonna be it's gonna improve and you're gonna be better than me and this is you know uh this is a competitive workplace kind of thing <laughs> i don't know workplace is the right word but like giving somebody your brush information doesn't mean 
It doesn't mean anything. You're literally just helping people. There are people who don't want to make tutorials because um, they don't want people to know their art secrets. And you know what? Like, that's fine if you don't want to give out, you know, information or tutorials or whatever for whatever reason. Uh, but it, I don't think it's very healthy to see everyone as a competitor. I'm not going to force people to make tutorials and I'm not going to force people to give out their information because that is absolutely their choice. Um, and I'm not going to shame them, you know, like personally, I'm doing it right now, <laughs> but personally I'm not. But um, if there's anything, it's just that I want, I've said this 200 times already, but not everyone is a competitor. Art doesn't have to be a competition if you don't want it to be. And uh, I feel like making it a competition can make drawing or painting or whatever you do not so fun. Puts a lot of stress on your hobby. <laughs> Just think about it as all of you guys, all artists against the world, <laughs> pretty much. Getting over artist envy is easier said than done. It's not like an overnight thing, but once I started using the people I look up to as motivation to improve um, and, and I, I stopped looking to them as like a, an enemy. I started enjoying drawing again. Um, I haven't felt envious over an artist in a long time. Um, which I know doesn't sound real, but I'm glad that it is because I hate feeling envious and jealous a lot. I'm prone to feeling that way, <laughs> but I'm an easily jealous person when it comes to other things, but I've definitely improved in the art, you know, um, in the art uh, world, or I don't know how to say it. <laughs> and instead of, you know, wondering why is this person so successful? Like, what did they do to deserve it? I think look at how amazing their art is how long did it take them to get there how much work did they put into it it took them a long time probably they deserve it with all that time they spent on their art they deserve the success why shouldn't they deserve it why do i think i deserve it more than they do because i don't i probably don't deserve it more than they do uh, just you know i I'm happy for other artists who are successful. It can, it can be hard to be successful in the art world. Look up to them. Find out what they did. Um, follow in their footsteps. Don't do it to surpass them. Do it because you want a better life and a better, like, you know, better self-esteem for yourself. Take a break if you have to. Sometimes you have to take a break from art. If it's getting so, if you're so unhappy, you know, if you if the art envy <laughs> is so strong that no matter what you draw, whatever, you, whatever, what, uh, whatever you work on, like it doesn't make you happy. And, and just when it's not fun anymore, you can take a break. You're absolutely allowed to take a break or you can take a break from posting it or stop trying to draw super amazing finished pieces and doodle a couple of times. Doodling is very nice and relaxing. Don't worry about having it to be perfect. I cannot talk. Don't worry about it being perfect. <laughs> Why can't I talk? Your feelings are 100% valid. I don't want you to think that I'm telling you that you can't be envious. Um, you can. It's totally, like I said, it's a natural feeling. Sometimes you can't help it. <laughs> um, it's just, as long as it's not hindering your enjoyment of what you do, and as long as it's not making you take some, uh, inappropriate actions you know as long as you're not hurting other people as long as you're not hurting yourself you know fine <laughs> but i will say learning to get over it makes what you do way more enjoyable i feel like this wasn't educational at all but i hope that at least a couple of people understand what i'm trying to get at Anyways, I think that's all I'm going to say about this subject right now. So, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the support. And I will see you guys next time. Would it be weird if I started saying, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't? Remember, I, I used to say that a couple times, but I stopped. Is it weird? 
subscribe. <laughs>